Good morning. It's right now around 7 a.m. I live on the ground floor of this little like garden complex. This is my little sewing hut. Today I want to show you around, so come on in. This is where I make things and I do it all around this kitchen island, which I built to be standing height. It's got a typical, you know, green mat on. Now I'm really excited to show you my organization for this space. So we've got a bunch of Ikea kind of cubby things going on. On the first shelf, we have six and honestly, they fit perfectly. So that really pleased me. And at the bottom we have 10 transparent bins. So the top white bins house absolutely everything I could need. The strips, I have no idea what that is. I think I meant like binding or like thicker string. Yeah, sometimes I just write things that make sense to me. We've got glue guns, we've got masking tape, canvas and shoulder pads. We have faux fur trim. So the bottom are beads that I haven't really opened yet. And at the top are beads that I've already opened. They're already in like little boxes. So here, let's open some drawers. So left one is a bunch of like tech equipment and stuff. Scissor sharpener. I'll figure it out one day. Tiny tripod. We've got my camera, lenses, any kind of B-roll. I'm mostly using this Canon G7X. I think it was the first one, I don't know, I cleaned it up of all branding. And here on the other side, we have tape dispenser, hole puncher, glue, measuring tape, more measuring tape, bunch of needles. So these are a mix of hand needles and needles for my machine. Bobbins, presser feet. And we've also have these like little sewing caps that you saw me use in my last video. I like them more than like the hard caps you put on your hand. These are clips that I use when there are more layers. These are my super cute pastel colored chalks. I just go through chalk like crazy and sometimes you want a different color based on the fabric you're working on so it shows up better. Let's move on to the this side so that I can show you what's happening down here. We have this heavy duty bead organizer. I think these were used for like hardcore work tools, but I used to store my larger embroidery beads, wooden beads, it's like perfect for that. You know, open it up, get what you need and close up. And at the top I have all my tools in this little cute vase. It's just got everything I need. And then this tiny ceramic bowl, which was definitely made for this purpose, house all my kind of chalk that I'm using right now because when I leave the chalk on the table, it just gets squashed and crumbled. I have seam ripper, tiny scissors, and my black pin cushion. My little machine is housed at a perfect standing height. And then I've got this really cute little thing in the back that used to be a candle, but it just fits spools of thread perfectly. I don't know what this is called in English, but in Chinese it's called a yangshen hu, nourish body pot. Basically a glorified kettle with more settings. This is like what I use to drink all my TCM teas every morning. Before I had to like run in and out for all my water. And sometimes when you're in the middle of a project, you really don't want to like interrupt yourself. So I was not drinking a lot of water when I was working, which I know is a weird sewing problem to have. Here we have my iron. I didn't want there to be a separate ironing station. So when I need to iron or press something, I will just pull it out, press it, and then put it right back. In this little basket here, we have a bunch of just sewing machine essentials. Presser feet, a brush for the sewing machine, tracing on patterns. Here we have bobbin threads. And then I have a little lint roller. I mean, as a cat owner, yes. As a person who works with a lot of fabric and fluff, yes. So this is like a charging station where my camera chargers are permanently stored. So that when I'm filming and I run out of battery, I just plop it out and charge it right in here. Then we have my serger. I don't use my serger every day. I'm mostly kind of serging at the beginning or the end of a project. So whenever I do need it, I'll just bring it out, put it on this desk. And then on the right, we just have some knickknacks. I have this super fluffy, soft brush that I use to clean up any kind of dust and particles on my table. So I found in a small shop here in Shanghai. 
At the very bottom, we have a whole row of patterns which really need to be organized, so I won't go into them. Maybe another video. We're now facing the other wall. All my rulers are here, so I hang absolutely everything just so when I'm working, I can just, well, now you know the motto of this little hut, grab and go and put it back. Everything that I'm working on right now is always in this little folder. So it could be a script, it could be a shot list, it could be pattern pieces so that I don't have to clutter up any more surface area. At the bottom we have a bin for trash and then a bin for scraps. So this is my little scraps bin. You know, as you're going through a project, you're cutting off a lot of stuff. I'll like put the smaller pieces into the bin and then the larger ones I'll put into this scraps bin so then I can upcycle it later. Okay, so here we have my heater from DeLonghi and I've had this heater for three years. It's freaking cold in this room in the winter. Let's say I need, I wanna be in the studio so I'll come in maybe 30 minutes before, turn on this little heater, close the door, come back. It'll be like a smokehouse in here, super toasty. And on the right here we have I don't have a name for her. Mannequin, who is really not to my measurements, but she gets the job done as a 3D pin board. I did this little patch on her neck because it was just the logo of the company that made her and it wasn't a pretty logo, so I covered it up. And then behind her on this hook is always my really ugly but incredible Bose headphones. Absolutely incredible noise cancellation. So this is a calendar by my friend we're currently right now in February, so <laughs> I should be changing it. So wholesome, hang it up here. So yeah, just by looking at this calendar, you'll know what month we're in. Okay, so now we're gonna enter the bathroom and it's gonna get really tight in here. So here we have like a basin, <laughs> a wash basin. In here I just have all my cleaning supplies, filtered water, hard floor cleaner, fabric cleaner. It's just filtered water with some starch, which gets your fabric really clean and kind of stiffened up a bit. And then we have some all-purpose cleaner. I never realized this was bamboo flavor. Room scent, <laughs> heavy duty uh, gel glue, gloves, disinfectants. And on this side we have all my teas. So I have rose tea, I have oolong tea, I have a bunch of TCM teas. It's kind of like, what a bag of TCMT will look like. It's just got a bunch of herbs in it. So this one is for when you feel like too hot, like internal fire, and it helps you calm down. And here we just have some hand wash. We've got a cute clip, because one of the interns at work, she left and she got everyone these clips with their names, which I think is really cute. And then here we have a jar of all my, a lot of incense. And I just have all these fun Indian ones. Like the branding on these are so cool. Like each one just has their own kind of little branding. Look at this. It's just so cute. These are actually not incenses. They're called dupe sticks, which kind of just perfume the room up. Okay, and on the ray, this is where I hang all my, this is ham, Taylor hams, Taylor's hams that I made myself. And the filling is just done out of scrap fabric. Okay, on this side of the wall, there is kind of a lot of stuff going on. I have this organizer thing that's originally intended to organize undergarments. I have repurposed it for thread and it just fits perfectly. And behind it, we have my ironing mat. This used to be the shower. And you can still see the shower head up there, actually. This is where I store all my fabric. I come in here and I feel just very private. Like this is my little shower full of fabric. It's kind of organized. For example, here, this is kind of all things that are messy when you cut them. I know that's a weird way to organize fabric. This is also things that will be messy if you cut them because it's all velvet and plush. Some of these I've had for a while because I love them so much that I can't bear to cut into them and potentially ruin them because I can't get more of it. Here we have kind of more tartany fabrics. I really love tweeds, plaids, bland looking things. You know, maybe reinventing it so it has a new shape. This is a new vintage roll of fabric I just got. I think this is from the 80s. Actually recently just got can you believe it? All of these, and there's 
three, there's way more. I think these are from the 70s or the 80s, just vintage fabric. Look how cool they look. So I'm gonna have to figure out a project for these. At the bottom, we have these two baskets. So one of them is for kind of fabric that I don't really love. And on the right, we have work in progress slash unfinished, which I have a lot of things going on in there. Don't wanna delve into them because I'll feel guilty. But the bottom here, we have these like drawers. Is that a way to call them? But these drawers just house all my kind of smaller pieces. And on this side, I just have all my canvas, all my interfacing, backing fabric. And then at the very bottom, I have all my lining. On the sides, I've just stuffed a bunch of unmentionables, like a bunch of spare pillow inside. I have been loving pillows that are like long. You know, if you were to show me a flat pillow, like a regular, square pillow i don't really have feelings about it but when you show me kind of an oval like a round pillow that's long with tassels and embroidery on it something changes in my heart rate and on the top here we have some flowers so i've been actually making these kind of fabric flowers out of leftover fabric for a while if you're interested let me know and i'll do a whole bouquet for you guys if you haven't heard i'm kind of the, the fabric florist So yeah, that was my entire sewing hut. I really love the space. It's cozy, tiny, efficient. It's like built for my needs, which is why I love it so much. So there's like no level of stress in this room. I light an incense when I come in, you know, I have my teas going, I have my audiobooks on. So it's just like a really cozy womb for nurturing me. And I'm really glad you got to see it with me today. And let me know in the comment section below as well, like what you'd like to see me make and I'll take it into account. Although I can't promise you anything. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.